Hi everybody. Now that we welcome October into our lives, it means that it's time to greet yellow leaves, Halloween, and of course, pumpkin spice latte. And yet, these are not all the things that October signifies. This precious month also tells us that only a month left to welcome the highly expected season 4 Yellowstone, and we are already counting days to go by as quickly as possible. The last season of Yellowstone was exciting, intriguing, and creative in terms of its plot. Especially the fact that we finally got to see Beth and Rip together for good this time, to the point that they got engaged, made the season really special for most of the audience. However, in the great tradition of Yellowstone, the season finale hit us so hard that we almost forgot what kind of blessings we have watched throughout the rest of the season. What happened? Well, Beth got ambushed in her office through a mystery box explosion while John and Casey got brutally shot and left to be dead. In other words, there has been a Dutton family massacre, and we still cannot believe it. The worst thing was the fact that the Yellowstone team had a great job in preserving the details of the new season. To put it another way, we still have no clue who survives and who didn't. We know that the show's ratings are mostly depending on its unique characters, meaning that it would be a great risk to kill them so casually. And yet, Still, one of the unique qualities of Yellowstone is the fact that it doesn't afraid to take a risk, which is both very attractive and scary. What to expect from Season 4 then? Well, the tagline of the entire season is, Everybody Pays, hinting that the season will be filled with revenge arcs. In the teaser, we see police arriving at Beth's office, while Rip finding John covered in drops of blood. When it comes to Casey, we have a little bit of a blank canvas, as we don't know who finds and rescues him from that bitter situation. While many focus on these characters' fate, another theory explores that Casey's wife, Monica, might have been the one who is in real danger. In fact, this theory claims that Monica will be the Dutton who will lose her life and then trigger the fire of revenge. To back this theory up, people refer to the moment in the season 3 finale when Monica is in shock on the phone with Casey before he was attacked, combined with the scene from the trailer where it's hinted that there has been yet another attack on the ranch itself. It's easy to conclude that Monica is the one who will be killed, regardless of who will lose his or her life. We're sure that Season 4's first episode will witness a bitter tragedy and possibly a funeral. Besides, the season will probably kick off with some kind of a plan to find the responsible parties and take revenge on them. It's speculated that Rip will be the one who leads the operation. Why? Well, there are multiple reasons, but the most prominent one is the fact that he faces the possibility of losing his love, Beth which is unacceptable. Another possibility that we expect to see at the beginning of Season 4 is Garrett Randall, the biological father of Jamie, as he is likely to be the name behind all this drama. It's likely to see a face-to-face -face between John and him, as their bad blood has a deep history. Thankfully, Yellowstone will be aired on November 7, and we will get all the answers we need. What do you think of Yellowstone? Are you excited for Season 4? Do you think we should be worried about Monica instead of the rest of the Duttons? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.